The Advanced Math Support Programme is delighted to be working with the Royal Geographical Society on the Geography and Core Maths Initiative. Personally, I've been really surprised by the level of maths that's in geography assessments. And I feel even more passionate now about raising awareness of how studying Level 3 Core Maths alongside Geography A Level can really support your students. Level 3 Core Maths is equivalent to an AS and it's all about solving authentic contextualised maths problems. And these are often in a geographical context. We regularly hear from people who've gone on to study geography at university. They tell us that they really find the level of maths there challenging because they haven't studied it since GCSE. The great thing about taking level three core maths is that there are a lot of topics that are crossover between core maths and also geography A level, such as measures of central tendency and spread, like standard deviation, interpreting graphs, correlation, and statistical techniques. As part of the initiative, we run a free online PD, which is all focused on the maths that's in A-level geography. Um, and we've also produced a lot of resources that can be used in both the geography and the maths classroom. Hi, so in this video I'm just going to quickly talk about some of the ways in which maths and data can be really really useful in geography. Um, so you might use data in a number of different topics, this could be climate data, so looking at rainfall, or this could be looking at development indicators, how life expectancy changes over time, um, and it's really important to be able to spot patterns and trends in this data and describe them, um, describe changes over time uh, using the mean, median, interquartile range, standard deviation, etc. Uh, it's also really good to use mathematical skills uh, when looking at distribu distribution, so maybe choropleth mapping, uh, showing house prices across the city, how they vary, or um, locations of natural disasters or something like that. Um, and not only just to describe this data, but understand the advantages and limitations of using this kind of data and how it's measured. Um, and personally for me, I found mathematical skills so, so useful when doing fieldwork research. Um, because when you're analysing your data, actually it really takes it to the next level if you can do some statistical analysis rather than just qualitative analysis or describing graphs. If you can carry out Spearman's rank or chi-squared or something like that to prove your association, that just makes your field work so, so much better. Hello, I'm Simon Holland. I'm a course leader for geography and head of faculty at Bilbra City Form College in Nottingham uh, and a chartered geography teacher as well with the Royal Geographical Society, uh, which is something brilliant to really look into. Um, we've been, we were one of the pilot centres originally for uh, the core maths qualification years ago um, and we've been running it ever since and uh, an increasing number of geography students have picked it alongside their geography study because um, it's really really helpful, it's a really good link to have, there's lots of skills that you learn uh, in math studies um, or maths core maths that come across to geography really well in terms of geographical skills and vice versa as well, so they complement each other really well. We've actually found the students that do uh, core maths alongside geography do better in geography um, and also really benefit from it when they're doing their coursework and in the exam questions around core maths skills um, and sort of geographical stats skills and things like that particularly. Um, we even find actually that they do better in the sort of applied statistical kind of stuff uh, that's in geography quite a lot of graphical statistical work um, than some of the A-level maths students um, because a-level maths is kind of a bit beyond that kind of stuff. There isn't so much of that kind of applied, useful um, geographical maths in there. Um, so actually the core math students do really excel and they find it really, really beneficial. So we try and encourage as many as possible to do it alongside their geography course. Uh, some pick it up in year 13 as well and do it as a one year um, additional there. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really good course. Really think it goes well with geography and students should be encouraged to do both um, as much as possible. Hi, I'm Toby from Bilbra College and I found core maths incredibly useful to do alongside A-level geography because it's taught me advanced statistical and graph analysis and taught me about sampling techniques which are going to be really useful in my NEA coming up. Hi, I'm Amin and I also study at Bilbra College. Uh, I find math studies useful alongside geography, especially with uh, data representation and uh, graphs. The Society is delighted 
to be working with the Advanced Mathematics Support Programme on our Geography and Core Maths initiative. Through this work, we're able to upskill teachers to deliver the mathematics requirements of the geography specifications and in turn to help school students to develop these important skills to use both in their current studies and all of their future endeavours. Geographers with quantitative skills are very employable. Head over to the Core Maths and I Am a Geographer sections of our website to find out more.